Hey everyone, welcome back to Johnny Builds, and this week I made these three gradient style cutting boards using six quarter hardwood. Now they're made from walnut, maple, and cherry, and these things are nice and thick and have a premium quality feel and a heft to them, but are actually super easy to make and 100% dachshund approved. Let's check out how I did it. I went up to my local hardwood dealer here in Oklahoma City to pick out some wood for this project. I ended up with six quarter maple, walnut, and cherry, and these were all about nine to 10 foot long. I figured out how much usable material I had to work with and then planned my cuts accordingly. Once I had my cut list, I cut down 18 inch and 12 inch blanks for the three cutting boards I'm building for this project. On the joiner, I cleaned up one edge of all of these blanks I just cut. On the table saw, I set my fence to the widest dimension, which was an inch and a half. I made all of the cuts on my cut list at an inch and a half and then moved the fence down to an inch and a quarter. All of the cuts down to a half inch were done on the table saw. And for the quarter inch and eighth inch boards, I moved over to the band saw. I used a combination square here to set the fence relative to the blade. I made the quarter inch cuts making sure to keep the workpiece firmly against the fence and not forcing the piece through the blade. And here you can see my cut list for all three cutting boards. Just spending a few extra minutes writing the cut list out can save you time later from moving the fence back and forth unnecessarily. I moved the fence down to an eighth of an inch and made all the final cuts. I started laying out each of the cutting boards and I just referenced the diagram that I laid out earlier. And this cutting board is an even gradient of walnut and maple. Once I had dry fitted all the cutting boards, I could move on to the glue up, which was pretty straightforward. I broke out my planer to start smoothing out each cutting board and each board is just wide enough to fit in my planer. They're all about 12 by 18 inches. Now my dust collector couldn't handle all the shavings and it quickly clogged up. I just turned it off so the planer wouldn't bog down and just dealt with the giant mess that it made. I got out my crosscut sled and used this to square up the ends of each cutting board. And a side note here, I put a new sharp blade on when I started this project and it really made a big difference both in the quality of the cuts and the time it took to make them overall. I moved over to the router table and put a round over on all the edges of the cutting boards. Next I put in a straight bit and set the fence to a half inch. I cut a juice groove around the perimeter of the top and used these marks that I made on the fence to accurately place the workpiece. This showed me exactly where to start the cut and exactly where to stop it. Oh. 
And next I took my time sanding these boards, just making sure to get out any sort of lines that the router bit or the planer left on the boards. I worked my way through the grits all the way up to 220. I used this little piece of scrap wood to make a sanding block and this allowed me to get down inside the juice groove. For the last round of sanding I used water to raise the grain before sanding with 220 grit again and this leaves an extremely smooth finish. Last it was time for each cutting board to soak in mineral oil overnight. This is by far my favorite part where the cutting board sort of comes to life and you see all of your work pay off. And with that, these cutting boards were complete. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this project. I really enjoyed building these three cutting boards. This is a super simple project and they turned out way better than I even imagined. Now these are going up for sale soon and it's gonna be hard to part ways with them. If you like them as well, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below and let me know which one of these three is your favorite. For future projects and to see what I'm working on next, go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, at Johnny Bills. Myself and Norman would like to thank you for watching, and we'll see you back here next time.